G'day mates, welcome back to the channel, it is your captain speaking, welcome, welcome, hope you're all doing well. We got Science today, 2002, directed by M. Night Shyamalan, which I've actually never seen a movie directed by him before. I've heard he's a bit hit or miss, some movies are really, really good, some movies are just kind of okay, so time will tell. We've got Joaquin Phoenix and Mel Gibson. It's kind of a small cast, but it's pretty star-studded for how small the cast is. Um, Spooktober, man, starting off with a bang. Got an Alien movie this week. I think we might end it with an Alien movie too. I might do the Aliens sequel towards the end of the month. So if you're waiting for that, shouldn't be too long. But yeah, without further ado, we'll do most of that talk in the outro. Let's jump into this movie, see what they got for us. The invasion has begun. The kids were confused by it and uh, sure take the strangeness away if I knew it was just Lionel and the Wolf and brothers messing around, that's all. I don't think there's, uh, things were man-made, bro. It tastes funny. It does not. And besides, he licks his butt every day. I don't think he'll mind. She's so sweet. <laughs> Making sure the water's good so then the dog has some high-quality H2O. That sounds much like Lionel Pritchard and the Wolfington brothers. They can't take a piss without wetting the front of their pants. Jesus, that's the second time they mentioned. What kind of troublemakers are they? I like that theme song. Definitely a bit of an eerie start. Such a great backdrop though, like a farm for an alien movie. Pretty, pretty sweet. What's the matter? There's a monster outside my room. Can I have a glass of water? What? Monster outside my room can I have a glass of water next to your bed. It tastes old. Oh my god. I relate to that fully. I used to say that when I was younger. Like, this water's no good, it's too old. Oh my god. What the flip? Lionel Pritchard and the Wolfingham brothers are back. I don't know who Lionel Pritchard is, Chief, but that ain't him. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Ain't that crazy? You know, curse and stuff. You want me to curse? You, you don't mean it. It's just for show. Oh gosh. You just get your ass out there and start screaming, man. No. <laughs> ah! I'm insane with anger! <laughs> What? I'm insane with anger. We're gonna tear your head off! I'm losing my mind! <laughs> it's time for an ass whooping! Okay. It's getting better. That was a bit of a rough start. How did he get off? Bro, Mel Gibson just said I'm insane with anger. I'm using that. All Spig Turby are gonna hear me say that. Do you two have anyone who might have a grudge or something against you? Maybe a, a church member who, who might not have liked the fact that you left the church? Oh, uh, I see. So his wife passed and he gave it up, huh? Bo, turn up the volume. Oh, wow. Bangladore, India. Shout out to my Indians out there. Are only a limited number of explanations. The signs. Either this is one of the most popping up worldwide ever created, or basically, it's for real. That's a chilling line. Which I kind of got, kind of got goosebumps. Whew. It's getting serious. I really love that theme. It's so subtle, but it's so nice. And look at these overhead shots of the town. You know, a small town is such a like a, such a really good backdrop to a lot of movies because it can make you feel like paranoid, enclosed, small. It's just a really, really good, good backdrop in my opinion. I've had two separate folks tell me there've been strangers around these parts last couple nights. Oh, not to engage, but to evaluate the situation, evaluate the level of danger. This guy talks very strangely. Are all clear? Clear for, for what? what? For the rest of them. Righto. Old mate, you're losing it. Something weird and monotone about the way that bloke was talking. Shit, I know you. You're Merrill Hess. 
I was there the day you hit that 507 footer over the left field wall. 507? What an animal. Poor Lionel. Merrill's a class A screw-up. Is that him? Up. Wow, and just swing you... that bat as hard as he could every time. Every time something goes wrong in this town, must have been old mate Lionel over here. <laughs> Two for flinching. <laughs> Is that him? That's not the director of the movie, is it? I've only seen his picture like two times, but that kind of looks like him. It's not. But it wasn't working. Morgan, this crop stuff is about a bunch of nerds who never had a girlfriend in their lives. Hey. They do stupid crap like this to feel special. It's a scam. Nerds were doing it 25 years ago, new nerds are doing it again. God, dude, the stereotypical jock prototype, man. You just don't see it anymore. Do you remember the good old days where they'd grab nerds by their you know, by their shoes, and they'll tip them upside down to all their little lunch money fell out of their bloody pockets. Times were simpler back then. Code. Why can't they get girlfriends? It's a good question. There were nerd girls too. Not English though. You heard the voices, right, Uncle Meryl? I heard them, Morgan. Dude, Bo is so adorable. I want to give her a big hug and a bottle of water. It's not contaminated. You know what you hear if these were two Aussies? Two Aussie aliens? Yeah, mate, good mate, how you going, mate? What are you up to this, Arvo? Not the much, mate. Going down to the pub to sink some piss. Don't tell me there's something in there, in that deep, dark cornfield. Something lurking. Oh! I know jump scare's coming, I feel it. Dude, this is not the place to be, man. After dark, in the middle of this bloody cornfield. You know, there are more sinister things happening. Look at these You're white wasting your time shots, here. man. Just really beautiful and scary. You're not going to get famous. You're not going to get famous. This guy still thinks it's Lionel Pritchard and the bloody Wolfington brothers. Here comes the jump scare. <laughs> Maybe not. Is that all? That little thing was a jump scare. That was bloody nothing. <laughs> I just saw an alien leg. That might have been the nicest alien leg I've ever seen. Shaved, tan, toned, intergalactic only fans, or what? First appeared 52 minutes ago. Oh no. What you're seeing is real. It's unbelievable. Everything they wrote in science books is about to change. Ooh, that's a good line. Early this morning, a bird flew into the area where the lights were hovering last night. It stopped dead in the air and fell straight down. They caught it on tape. They've been playing it all morning. The they went invisible. Oh no. Not the Alex Jones hats. a little like our house, doesn't it? Wow. Same windows. Foreshadow, a dark omen. That's morbid. <laughs> Bloody telephone. Unplug it. Hello? What? Hello? The aliens are crank calling him. How'd you get this number? You intergalactic scumbags. The 10, 15 seconds when I passed her walking. Was like it was meant to be. Jesus, that's bloody dark. These places marked in crops and such. None of them are really near water. I don't think they like water. What? Why would they invade a planet that's over 70% made of water if they don't like water? Open my pantry, father. I found one of them in there and locked him in. What? It was photographed by a 42-year-old, Romero Valadares. This video was taken yesterday afternoon at his son's seventh birthday in the city of Paso Fundo, Brazil. 
Brazil. Obrigado. Any Brazilians out there? G'day. What you're about to seek may disturb you. Disturb me, baby. Disturb me. I'm ready to be disturbed. I can't see Jack Squat. Get these kids out of the way. What is that? There's a bush. Is it in the bush? Move, children. Vamanos. Vamanos, that's right. Dude, I can't see sh. Where is it? Dear God. Dude, I was like looking for it. I was like, where is it? We got your space X ass on camera. 4K exposed. Oh my God, I got goosebumps. Dude, that was so scary. That was actually such a perfect shot just to show it, like that little frame, just like one frame of it walking. That was so smart and clever. I'm with him. I am a police officer. This guy comes up with the most random stuff to say. And if this is an alien behind the door, folks, why can I not open just the door and walk out? We already Hello? took some of your friends downtown in a paddy wagon. How have you mastered space exploration, invisible shields, and you can't open a freaking door? What? And we'll give you the same deal we gave the others. You won't get famous. Hmm. Do 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 That's the sound I hear in my head every time I see somebody pick up that Michael Myers kitchen knife. Oh, use the mirror? That's clever. Jump scare. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Drop the knife, mate. Get the bloody hell out of there. You don't need to see that thing anyway. Good decision. Good decision. Why are you turning around? No, don't tell me. Oh, shit. oh my god. Ah! Oh. oh, that scared the shit out of me again. What is this, this movie? Ah. Oh. No way he just chopped his fingers off, dude. You're kidding. This movie is such a freaking roller coaster. Bloody hell. Oh my god. I mean, I don't blame him. Dude, get me one of them hats too. Their skin changes colors. That's why we couldn't see him that night. Really? Because they know eventually we would use nuclear weapons and the planet would be useless to them. Wow. All those in favor of the lake idea, raise your hand. <laughs> I like the lake, man. Us Aussies, we just like any body of water. Lakes, rivers, marshes, swamps, inlets, seas, lagoons. Dude, if it's got water... We're there. Amman joins Nairobi, Beijing, and Jerusalem as the latest to confirm the appearance of lights. Oh, snap. There are lights in over 274 cities. Just think it'll be 400 within the hour. The invasion has begun. I wish you were my dad. Wow. What did you say? Don't you ever say anything like that again. Facts. Dude, that's a messed up thing to say, dude. Your old man cares a lot about you guys. He might not show it, but you can just tell. That kid is a little spoiled shit. I want spaghetti. We should eat fast, Bo. Spaghetti sounds great. I like spaghetti. What do you want, Morgan? French toast. Ooh. And mashed potatoes. Now we're talking. How about you, Meryl? Chicken teriyaki. Ooh. Good choice. Dude, I'll have a double bacon cheeseburger. I'm going to have a cheeseburger with bacon. Bro, I swear I didn't know he was going to say that. That is just my favorite thing to eat. A double cheeseburger with bacon, a side of fries, and a vanilla milkshake. Dude, you're kidding. I'm a psychic. What's the matter with everyone? Eat. Maybe we should say a prayer. No. Why not? We're not saying a prayer. This man lost his hope, faith, everything when his wife died. All his virtues. I hate you. Let mom die. Oh yeah. my god, this kid. Why is he talking so much? Us from enjoying this meal, so enjoy it! <laughs> Stop crying! 
Come on, Crouch. man. Don't yell at her! God damn, he's losing the plot, man. Since you're all not gonna eat, I'm gonna try some of everything. Yeah, dude. He is just at his wit's end. He's had enough. God damn, he's like crying as well. How long has he been holding this in for, man? Damn. Finally break, dude. The wall comes down. Sooner or later, you can't keep that pent up. The wall comes down. Damn. You don't want to hug too. <laughs> Grab Meryl. Meryl, get your ass over here. Dude, I want to hug too. What about me? Uh oh. <laughs> they're here. Dude, speaking of they're here, I've never seen Poltergeist before. Do we do, we do Poltergeist? Yes or no? Spooktober. Spook oh, oh, the TVs are off. Please stand by. Yep, it's begun. It's official. Let's go. Come on. Oh no. The cursed alien hand. So read our minds. You're scaring your sister. I'm already scared. <laughs> Dude, Bo is so precious. What? Oh my god! Its arm was freaking like camouflaged, like the metal bars. Oh my god! This music gives me so many freaking jump scares, man. Bloody hell! We don't have his medicine. Oh no! Lucky as hell they're leaving. They're leaving? They're leaving? That's what they said. Failed invasion, dude! I did not see that coming. I thought for certain they're all gonna die. But they're leaving. They left real fast this morning. Wow. Something scared them off. They left some of their wounded behind. Oh no. They left some technology and peep and aliens behind for us to study. People must have figured out a way to We'll be them. ready when they come back in a thousand Everyone years or a hundred years, right? whatever, man. We'll be ready. Coast is clear. It's good enough for me. Me too. Get your ass up there. But take a weapon. That's such a cool shot of him walking up the stairs with those um cutouts of the stars. That's a nice touch. Oh. Stop doing that! I thought it was over. Oh, it's the one whose fingers he chopped off at Ray Reddy's house. Hi, sweetie. Oh no, not his wife, dude. We tell Meryl to swing away. Oh, there's the bat. The record breaking bat. Swing away, Meryl. Just like his wife said. <laughs> oh my god, they poisoned him. He's done for. <laughs> Oh my god, they are allergic to water. Why did they come to a planet with 70% water? WTF. Oh my god. All of Bo's undrank contaminated waters that have been left around are actually a plot point. Are you kidding me? They killed E.T. Mate, you're dust. See you, see you never, babe. His lungs were closed. His lungs were closed. Oh, his lungs were closed. The kid pulled through, man. Oh, wow. It's back to the church again. You can hear laughing through the house. Wow, what a story. M. Night Shyamalan film. Damn, dude, that's crazy. Let's jump to the outro and talk about it. All right, Science 2002, M. Night Shyamalan. Dude, I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. It was good. There were just some weird plot points that didn't sit right with me. Like, why would aliens invade a planet that has 30 uh, sorry, over 70% water? And you're, like, allergic to water. It kills you. Weird. Um, Why are you going hand-to-hand -hand combat? 
when you're such a advanced civilized species like what do people have guns huh what if somebody knows brazilian jiu-jitsu and you go into their house so they just jump on the floor and pull guard are you just going to jump on them anyway what i really liked about the movie was the score it was it had some very unsettling score that that do 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 thing it was just it was really really nice to hear and it just built on the tone built on the mood There's something about like this small town and this farmhouse that just it's a bit like eerie you know what i mean like it makes you a bit uncomfortable You're like what's going on out here this place is so big and vast and it just makes you feel really small um the acting was great uh, i think everybody killed their parts i liked all our four main characters they were all great um even that that military guy the way he was talking just bothered me it was so weird and monotone and robotic almost it was bloody bizarre stuff but anyway i'm glad i watched that great start to spooktober really great start let's keep the ball rolling i'm not 100 percent sure what will be next week but we'll just keep freestyling keep going with it if you have any recommendations of horror movies or thrillers or anything good for the month of october drop them in the um in the comments below and i'll go through them and add them to our ever-growing list so yeah man without further ado hope you all enjoyed this first time watching reaction until next time take care stay safe love you bye ciao